Hello everybody and welcome back to Mac Gaming Revolution. In today's video, I'm going to be doing an updated tutorial on how you can get Gary's Mod running on your Mac, as the developers of the Gmod co CFE codec fix, which essentially allows you to run Gary's Mod on Mac by bypassing the default launcher and essentially making it playable as normally the main menu is missing and there's just all sorts of weirdness for Gary's Mod on Mac. Now, this newest version of the tutorial is a s somewhat similar to the previous one, except the whole process is generally significantly more simplified as the developers actually released a DMG file version of the codec fix rather than having to switch it to an executable yourself. So the whole process is just streamlined significantly. So without further ado, let's get right into it. First off, you're going to click the link in the description that'll take you to Gmod CFE codec fix. Once you're here, you're going to want to just simply scroll down, click on releases right here. And then once you're in releases, scroll down a little bit more and find Gmod CFE codec fix dash macOS.dmg. This is what you're going to want. Now simply click on that to download. Next up, you're going to want to purchase Gary's Mod from Steam. To do this, you can simply just go to the search bar right here on Steam and look up Gary's Mod. Normally, it's $9 on sale. It can get as low as, I believe, $5, if not even lower, honestly. So you can wait for a sale. You can just get it now. It's pretty cheap as it is. And yeah. Also, ignore this warning. Next up, what you're going to want to do is download and install Gary's Mod into your Steam library. And once you've done that, you're going to want to click on this little gear icon right here, go to properties, and then betas, and then go into this beta right here, x86-64 slash chromium plus 64 bit binaries. This will essentially allow Gary's mod to be 64 bit as it's normally only 32 bit and will essentially allow it to be runnable on your Mac. Once that's all updated and it says right here next to Gary's Mod x86-64, you're going to want to go to this file you downloaded earlier, gmod cfe codec fix macosdmg First you're going to want to do is right click on this, push open. Next, drag this into applications just like that. Now you can see this in your applications, gmod codex fix. And then simply just push open. Now you probably get this pop up as the developer hasn't signed the app. So to combat this, right click and then push open. And then you should get this pop up right here. Now click open again and there you go. Once you click that, it should open a little terminal window right here. And what this terminal is going to do is it's going to fix all the Gary's Mod files that it needs to fix essentially to allow uh, Gary's Mod to run on Mac. And yeah, it'll just be downloading these files, doing this stuff, and then eventually it'll come to a different screen. Also really quick, while this is downloading, I got a few more little notes. Number one, you can delete this DMG file right here after you have moved the files inside to applications. Once you've done that, you can just delete the DMG file. And you can also see this thing right here that the um, codec fix made. You can right click on that and then just push eject. And here we go. The codec fix was applied successfully and yeah. So you'll be met with the screen. It'll just say you wanna launch Gary's mod now, yes or no. You push, you can either just type like Y over here. Either type Y for yes or N for no, and then hit enter. So another warning, if you are going to be doing this, you can't launch the game from the Steam library. Like you can't just push play or else it won't work. It'll like overwrite the files and stuff and kind of screw stuff up. So basically don't, and you'll, you'll just have to like do it again as far as I'm concerned. So just simply do not push this play button, only launch it from the application, only launch it from this. Don't, don't, don't launch it from that. And another quick tip, if you want to actually like move this uh, onto your home screen, what you can do is right click on this, push make alias, and then simply drag that right onto your home screen. And then you can just delete that copy. 
So essentially what this does now, it's like a shortcut. Like whenever you click on it, it'll just open up the codec fix without you having to go into applications. So it's like super convenient. And yeah, with Gary's mod, you can actually play multiplayer. You can download mods. You can do everything. You're, you, you basically have the full capabilities of a Windows player. Like it's not limited in any way. And it runs pretty decently, I'd say. So yeah, thank you guys all so much for watching this video. Make sure to like and subscribe and keep gaming on a Mac.